Okay, so apparently a few fandoms are pretty upset after the big announcement from Weekly Shonen Jump regarding Jump Festa 2025. In case you don't know what Jump Festa is, essentially think E3 but for anime. And I realize that that reference is about to be extinct considering E3 really isn't a thing anymore. But essentially it is a showcasing at the end of the year from Shonen Jump of all the titles that they have and what they're about to do as far as movie announcements, TV anime adaptations, specials, spin-offs, you name it. If it's going to happen for your series, it will probably be announced during Jump Festa, which usually takes place around December, but they start announcing things ahead of time so you understand what to expect when it comes to Jump Festa. And a few fandoms in particular have been pretty upset, most notably the Boruto and Black Clover fandom, but I've also seen One Punch Man fandom being pretty upset and quite a few other fandoms as well because yeah, some of Shonen Jump's top titles or Shueisha's top titles, shall I say, aren't included in the latest reveals for Jump Festa in terms of the promotional art and all of the stages that are announced because the stages is where you will find the information for each series depending on which stage there are. There's three different stages, the green stage, the blue stage, and the red stage. The green stage is usually the ones that aren't really going to have big info, shall I say. The blue stage is kind of a medium, and red is red hot. You're going to get big announcements, anime adaptations, manga spin, all sorts of different things when it comes to the red stage events. But yeah, for a couple of Shonen Jump or again, Shueisha's biggest titles, they don't have any sort of announcements or they won't have any presence for that matter at this year's Jump Festa. And quite a few fans are upset because taking a look at what we have here, for starters, we have the art itself, which I ain't gonna lie, looks pretty cool. It's dope to see that they have actually some classic on here at the same time with some newbies because you got you know you got Ichigo back there obviously Bleach Styles and Blood Wars going on you got Goku on there from Super so you got you know you got Kenshin there you got Yugi from Yu-Gi-Oh that's kind of a shocker well at the same time should it really be considering it's made like bajillions of dollars outside of like One Piece and Dragon Ball Yu-Gi-Oh's probably made the most money as far as because of the card game than like damn near anything on this list and maybe Bleach as well Bleach sold like 100 million copies let's stop playing with Bleach's name from the green stage announcements we got Akane Banashi that hasn't had an anime adaptation yet so that might get the anime announced because it's been around for a while. Moriarty the Patriot I've never checked that one out I've heard of it never checked it out. Undead Unluck I gotta imagine it's to promote the upcoming next season of the David Productions anime. Elusive Samurai is there an anime airing for it right now? We got Dr. Stone that's probably for the wrap up of the TV anime. Me and Roboco did they put that movie out yet? Probably about the movie if not it'll be about maybe uh, another season of the anime although the anime really wasn't an anime it was like one minute bits gag manga biori i have no idea what that is so that's the green stage outside of undead unluck which i feel probably should have get a bigger stage than that for the most part everything is about right in here dr stone been around for a while it's not really scorching hot like it was two or three years ago and the rest of these are kind of more like newbies just getting started so that's the green stage but again even if it's the least popular at the very least they're on the stage then we got the blue stage which is a pretty prominent stage you're gonna get big announcements from there as well off the gate you got bleach there which i feel as though before we continue that bleach's presence here and bleach in general is a prime example of why all the fandoms, including again, because I'm a big Boruto and Black Clover fan as well, really need to chill out. Because there was many years, you could go back in the archives, I reported on it, where Bleach was shafted. And there was no presence for Bleach for any of the Jump Festas. No promotional art, no inclusion, no stages, no nothing. And now, years after, what, eight years after the manga ended, the anime has been back for a couple years with the Thousand Year Blood War anime. We got the next season incoming here in October. I got to imagine what they're going to be pushing is probably the next season of the anime after that, because right around the time Jump Festa happens, I'm imagining this core of Bleach will have wrapped itself up. But just in general, Bleach had no shine. Jump was not giving it the promotion that it deserves. And now it's on the blue stage. So sometimes you got to be patient, fam. 
fandoms like bleach went through it and it's here taite kubo had to you know what i'm saying wait for his turn and now he's shining again yeah bleach on there gintama i think they're doing like a re-release of a movie or something or a compilation sakamoto days that's got the anime already coming i gotta imagine so that's probably to promote the anime don the don the anime is about to drop still really a bummer that the leaks happen like come on bro come on witch watch does that have an anime yet i remember reading the first few chapters and i thought it was okay i actually enjoyed what i read from witch watch blue box that's a romance series that i'm imagining should be getting an anime soon it's been around a while and it's kind of popular kimetsu no yaiba <laughs> with that title in particular i gotta imagine they're gonna always try to have some sort of stage considering what demon slayer did with the mugen train movie and the sales over 100 million sales and it only took like two years to make that happen as far as when demon slayer started blowing up and yeah that's probably as well to promote the upcoming films that they're going to be releasing to wrap up the adaptation of the manga you got haikyuu that's probably to promote the movies that they got coming to wrap up a lot of movie adaptations to wrap things up man the movie's really bringing in the bucks huh world trigger world trigger author forever has respect because homie's been dealing with some health issues his wrist breaking all sorts of stuff and he's still going and they still showing him love and shout out to toei for not abandoning him because every now and then they come out like yo new world trigger season and they don't have to do that so shout outs to world trigger and mission yozaku with a family i think is the anime going on right now or is it about to come out and i'm a little off the radar when it comes to a few of these but a lot of love from mission yozaku the family and it's dope to see it on the blue stage and we got the big bad red stage this is the most important quote-unquote stage of the event this is where all the big things is gonna happen and right off the gate it got chainsaw man i'm gonna be totally honest with you guys i know a lot of people know that i used to be the biggest chainsaw man fan i've since dropped the manga quite a while back i lost complete interest in it i may check out the movie when it comes out i'm not really sure to be honest with you likewise with the second season of the anime i just really lost all my hype for it i had a great experience reading the manga back when it was coming out and completing reading the manga but as far as like new chainsaw man stuff i don't know it just like totally lost me let me know how you guys feel about chainsaw man if you're still a fan or if you were a fan like in general chainsaw man just turned out to be something that i'm not really all that into anymore spy family adorable series always love to every now and then i go back like i'm not caught up with spy family's anime or the manga but every now and then it's like oh let me go watch a few episodes of spy family and i'll keep on going from there it's, it's just so good it's so enjoyable so relaxing so wholesome it's great jujutsu kaisen i think they got a compilation movie coming out i'm not sure obviously the next season of the anime jujutsu kaisen is one of the biggest selling manga and jump by that point the manga will have wrapped itself up so it's probably all a push for the anime and if there's going to be any spinoffs of sorts which some people are hoping and holding out for like a gojo spinoff of sorts but yeah jujutsu kaisen come on dog it's second highest selling manga behind one piece they're gonna want to do something speaking of one piece the live action the the one piece new anime the tv anime that's currently ongoing to give it a boost whatever's happening with the manga i could see them holding off on new one piece films for a while just because there's so much one like there's a lot of one piece going on a live action and two anime adaptations alone is insane and more than most series ever get so i just imagine they're gonna push everything that we know thus far my hero academia by that point the movie will have been out for a while the year next film with the manga being over this could be something to promote maybe a new spinoff maybe the vigilantes manga is finally getting an anime because that ran for way too long for a spinoff to not have some sort of anime adaptation i gotta imagine that's what's next if not that getting an anime then something in the ballpark of new my hero they're not gonna let that completely fall to the wayside it's too big kaiju number eight i'm imagining is to promote the next season or just give it a push in general the manga's still going the first season of the anime was i want to say a pretty decent success it wasn't the biggest thing in the world but it was successful dragon ball we got the daima anime that will be out by that particular point the manga will be back and the video game sparking zero will be out so that's gonna be to push everything we know and it's gonna be pretty freaking intense especially for the daima anime to see what's happening prince of tennis never been into it to be honest with you that's something that i imagine maybe in my elderly years i'll be like i always wanted to check out prince of tennis let me go read it <laughs> let me go watch it no disrespect to prince of tennis if you're you know reading or watching it all power to you i'm just saying for me personally maybe down the road is something i'll check out because i am kind of curious about it blue exorcist they got the new anime i think incoming if it's not out already and blue exorcist has been around for a while and it's still pretty popular although to be fair I'm, i still be like damn blue exorcist is still going on reminds me of like seraph of the m as far as like you know the longevity and then we're only kenshin been back for a while 
the restoration anime. I really want to see the stuff that was never animated. Whenever we get to that point, because let's be real, the first couple of arcs of the anime is going to be obviously readapting what we've seen in the original. And the original is a masterpiece when it comes to the first two. Like up to Kyoto arc with Makoto Shisho and whatnot, it's classic. It's just that the third season of Rurouni Kenshin was filler, the original anime. This one, they probably going to go the route of, you know, fully adapting the manga. So when I get to that point, I'll be excited. But that's probably to promote the restoration anime. But yeah, people, that's Jump Festa 2025. I know Boruto fans, Black Clover fans, One Punch Man fans, and quite a few other fandoms are pretty disappointed that there's no representation for their series. But that only just means that the following year is probably going to be a year. And not to mention the fact that Boruto fans, we did just have the big festival in France with Kishimoto and Ikamoto, and they answered a lot of questions. They clarified who's writing the manga, all sorts of stuff. So we got something pretty significant way before Jump Festa fans get their stuff. And Black Clover fans, yeah, it's a bit disappointing, especially that we're only getting one or two chapters every three months now. And, you know, it's kind of vacant at the moment for Black Clover. But we did just get a big movie last year on Netflix, which was pretty freaking good, if I do say so myself. So, you know, and Boruto fans don't have that, likewise with One Punch Man fans. So we gotta be grateful for what we got. And again, I do believe next year will be a big, big year. Boruto anime already confirmed that it will be returning at some given point. Maybe by next year we'll have the big announcement and they're going to do a big rollout with Boruto. Likewise with Black Clover. I have no doubt in my mind because Black Clover has always been really popular for its anime. The manga wasn't the biggest seller in the world, although I think that that's a pretty low ball statement considering it sold like 20 million copies. You sell 20 million of anything, like how can that be, you know, a, a flop, so to speak. And One Punch Man fans, I know we're waiting for that third season. Like, hey, what happened? Did y'all forget about it? But either way, Jump Fest is going to be exciting. I'm I'm looking forward to it let me know what you guys think which series out of all of those stages is the one that you're most excited for you're most excited to see what's going to happen any predictions theories and just in general let me know your thoughts so laugh for this one i'm tim thanks for watching as always people have an awesome day subscribe and hit that bell to get more thank you so much